and welcome to the People Chronicles Storied Women. Today we really have a special episode of the People Chronicles. You do know that Storied Women is one of the original series of the People Chronicles? Well, today we have the originator of the original series to speak. <laughs> We have with us the originator of the People Chronicles, and we call her Tony Reese. <laughs> I am the original original. You are the original, <laughs> yeah. the originator of the originals. Yeah, that's me. Thank Hi. You. How are you, Tony? I'm great. How are you? Very well. Good. I, I do appreciate you coming on the show today. Aw, thanks for asking me. I've been waiting so long. You've got to get in line on storied women. <laughs> we're, we're, we're women. We've got lots of stories to tell. <laughs> that's what I hear. But today, I'm really looking forward to hearing your story. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So here's the question. You know the question mm -hmm. that I ask mm -hmm. everyone. Mm -hmm. And that is, what is that one takeaway that you want to share with everyone um, about what, you know, what's that value, that gem that you have for us today? So the value, well, actually the lesson for me would be to stay brave, be brave, and to be open to be able to see possibilities that are in front of you and opportunities that are in front of you so that you can walk through them. Oh. You know, brave's not a word that you hear really that mm -hmm. often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually we're talking about soldiers on the battlefield. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. So you're talking about everyday bravery. I'm talking about everyday, whether it's... Uh, whether you're having a, uh, an extremely tough life or whether you're nervous about something or whether you're making a decision not to do something because it's out of your comfort zone, that takes courage and bravery. And I think, uh, I think these are important characteristics that we need to hone as we, as we grow up into the world. I agree, I agree. I, can, you, can you grasp those opportunities without being brave? Can anybody grasp an opportunity without being brave? I think opportunities will present themselves, and if you if you are looking for a particular opportunity on on your path, then you may go for it. But if you have an opportunity that just randomly shows up, and you're you think to yourself, "Well, where did that come from, and what should I do?" Go through the door. Go through the door. Always go through the door. Okay, so. Tell, take us back, uh, give us something about how this has impacted your life. All right, so let's see. I, um, when I was working uh, in corporate America years and years ago, and I was the director, director of customer quality, I haven't had to say that title in a long time, for a large battery manufacturer. And we did a lot of team building, and we did a lot of you know continuous quality improvement stuff. And I worked with a woman who thought I should step out on my own, leave a cushy job, and go out on my own. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So, so how old are you at that time? Oh, gosh. Ballpark. Uh, 30s, 40s? No, no, maybe, um, maybe early 30s. Early 30s, wow. Yeah. Go right. out on your own in your early 30s? Early 30s. And okay. And maybe just 30. Okay. And so we, uh, so I, I, that was a decision, and I was not that brave at that time, okay? But I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. And after a lot of soul searching, I did it. And so the day, now not with bravery also comes recognizing that you need to be resilient. Because you can be brave, you can walk through that door and then you can be smacked in the face, right? Because you don't know what's on the other side of the door. Sure. It could be something wonderful, it could be something not so wonderful. Uh, or something's gonna knock I know, you down. I've, I've watched The Price is Right. No, yeah. no. Yeah. let's make a deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've watched, let's make a deal. Exactly, so the door opens and I was, um, I, was, I was stepping out, it was months and months and months to make the decision, I made the decision. I go home, I'm all excited, I have my box from the desk and my husband lost his job that day. So the day I was brave enough, or the whole decision making process that I was brave enough to step out on my own, he was, he was the secure one, we thought, but he worked for a bank and no one knew it and they made a massive layoff that particular day. So my entry into entrepreneurship 20 plus years ago uh, started with a, oh my gosh. But I continued, I had to be resilient. I had to find the bravery again and go, okay, I can do this. I can do this. And so I did. And that opened up many, many doors for me. Um, I, I was able to, I met people from the UK working on a particular, in a, on a franchise job in the UK. I met some people during that job who told me about another thing they were working on. I fell in love with it and I ended up working in the UK for eight years. 
and uh, starting the People Academy there. Would have never walked through that, uh, that opportunity or that door before. That took bravery, a lot of bravery. And there were some personal challenges that I went through that took a lot of courage and bravery. So when I talk to women today and who are feeling that they don't have what it takes to stretch their wings or to step into a position that maybe they don't feel right for or that they deserve it, that's when I my hand is at the small of their back going, walk, do it, do it. Because even if it's not what you thought, you did it. And I think that's important. I think that's very important, you know, and I think that's one of the, the values that you, we bring, or we try to bring anyway for, with storied women, mm -hmm. is to really just sh to share the story and then to, to support each other as we go along, mm -hmm. you know. So tell me, um, when you're talking about opportunity, there's always challenges in mm -hmm. that, and that's, what, you know, so is it, is it okay to be fearful? Well, it depends. If the fear is going to stop you, mm -hmm. I would check that. It is okay to to be careful, not reckless. Okay, cautious. Cautious. Yeah. Uh, but continue to walk. And the other thing I, I think that we need to remember is that for me, for my, my career path, I focus on doing work that matters. That's what I, I advocate for those who don't have a voice for, and, and that's what my whole career has been about, you know, um, whether it's, you know, the guy on the manufacturing floor who doesn't have a voice, nobody cares what he did or how he did it, to creating the People Chronicles to give more people a voice. So as long as I focused on doing work that mattered and that it was in my lane, I was okay. If it felt like it was out of my lane or I felt a little out of whack, I knew I needed to check it. So that wasn't fear. That was knowing that what was my lane, staying in that lane, and continuing to walk through those opportunities and being brave enough to go, I didn't see that one coming, but I'm going to do it. And doing it without yeah. fear. Without fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, because I, I remember back when the People Chronicles started, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, y did you have any idea what you were doing? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> A total honesty. The only thing I knew that I, I did well was I could facilitate and engage others to, to be able to find their voice and use their voice. But as far as the technology piece of it, no. Uh, you know, podcasting, video casting, digital media, you know, the social media world of it. And I started in a hotel room. You oh, know, yes, I, I remember Yes, it well. <laughs> I was in a hotel room because Craig Poole liked the idea, who was the GM of, of the Crown Plaza back then, and he goes, whatever this is that you're brewing, do it here. And I said, in a hotel room. He goes, yeah, do it here. I'm like, oh, okay. So we started it, and it was really taking your strength and just growing it and constantly not being afraid to learn. I made tons of mistakes, tons and tons of mistakes, and yet they were beautiful because I learned from them and I could teach from them and I could grow from them. Yeah. So I wasn't afraid of those mistakes. Yeah, I think, you know, when you talk about Craig and, and, uh, and, and yourself as well, you know, I think there are certain people in our communities who are real, what, what, what I would call opportunity spotters. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they see something, they can fill that need, fill that void and, the, and fly with it. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's, uh, and that, that's basically what you have done here at, at the People Chronicles. Well, what do you have to lose? Well, some people would say, some people would think <laughs> that you have a lot to lose, you know. There are people who won't stretch out of that comfort zone. True, You know, True. and I, so what you have done and what others have done, not just you, but when these opportunity spotters, you know, I think that they really change their perspective on how they look at something you know what i mean mm -hmm. is it is if i go through that door is it going to is there something that's going to hold me back or is it going to open up and it's a, is it really going to empower me somehow and i'm not afraid to ask for help if that's i don't important. know how to do something i'm going to find the experts who can help me and if you reach out and ask they normally people will help you. Yeah, I think that people, I find that people really are more than willing to help. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. It's somebody once asked me uh, for help and I was so flattered. I mean, I'm always flattered when people ask me yes. for my help. It's like, really, do you think I can help you? Because if you think I can, then I can. Well, and I you learned know? from you. 
You know, I learned from you. You and I had many conversations, and and you have a perspective that I needed, and and so you gave me a different way to look at some things. You know, and so there's growth along the way with people that you meet, and that's what this does. So I've learned from the women you've brought to the table. I've learned from every single story that has been in here, and we have been humbled by the opportunity to do this. It, and it's become a moral obligation to keep it going no matter what it takes. That's wonderful, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. You know, I, you, I was thinking about when you were talking about starting out in, in with the People Chronicles, uh, years ago as a kid, you know, how you, you think back, you know, you don't. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember I was trying to, I really needed to get on the other side of this creek. We used to hang out down at this creek. And there were these, these rock, it was like I saw this rock path. It was a rock, rock, log, rock, whatever. But it was really going to get me across. That's in my mind anyway. <laughs> it was going to get me to the other side of that creek where that's where the rope was, where you could swing. And, okay. and, and so as I was walking across, everybody's yelling, don't do it, you're going to get wet. And I was saying to myself, well, yeah, but if I don't get wet, how am I going to get on the other side? <laughs> how am I going to make it to the other side? You know? And then I got over there, and everybody looks back, and, and everybody just like, oh, yeah. And then just ran across, <laughs> exactly. just followed me over, you know? Yeah. And it was just, and it was kind of, you know, when I think back, I say to myself, whenever we do, whenever we step out of the comfort zone, whenever we want to try a new opportunity or something, there's always a risk involved. Oh, absolutely. You know? But you say, and you, 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 you seek out the guidance of others or whatever mm -hmm. it is, and you find that that risk is we can get around that we'll figure it out right you know as we go along and as long as you're doing work that, that matters. matters exactly you know that, that's the driver mm -hmm. that's a definite driver if it's selfish you'll probably fall off the rocks I would yeah I agree me too mm -hmm. me too mm -hmm. me too so Tony this is I'm so thrilled to have her here I always tell uh, that uh, Tony is the wizard behind the camera, and so now we have, she has come, we have pulled the curtain away, and you've just had a little introduction of, of Tony Reese, and so hopefully you'll be back at some sure, point in time, we'll sure. talk a little bit more about things, but I think the message that you bring today is for all of us to just, to, to be brave, mm -hmm. to take the opportunity, where however it presents ourselves, mm -hmm. don't, be, don't be afraid to do it, and that we, there are people that will help us there along are. the way, there, there really are. are. So I want to thank you for coming, Terry, Tony, Tony. I'm going to call you Terry. Thank you for coming, Tony Reese. <laughs> and You're welcome, you. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for following Storied Women on The People Chronicles. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The People Chronicles, and you won't miss any stories. These stories are made possible in part by Spring Ridge Financial, Heidelberg Restaurant, Queen City Restaurant, and PJ Willahan.